Good morning. This morning I'm going to um, go and do another LinkedIn skills assessment. Um, so I've logged into my LinkedIn account. Okay. Going to my profile. Going to scroll down. And I'm going to go and say take skill quiz. The one that I want to do today is Windows Server. So let's go to Tools and Technologies. And let's scroll down. Windows Server. There we go. Click on that. As you can see here, it says Windows Server Assessment. It will test Active Directory, configure network services and access, deploy, manage, maintain servers, install and configure server roles and features, install and configure Windows Server. 15 multiple choice questions, one and a half minutes per question. Score in the top 30 to earn a badge. So I'm going to click on Start and let's go. You deploy a Windows Server 2012 R2 server as a VPN server and must configure new firewall rules for workstation connections. Which command do you use to configure the new rules with the least amount of effort? So I'm going to go with um, use new net firewall rule command in PowerShell. When configuring a CA server, which role service provides a web interface for users to easily request and renew certificates? I'm going to go with Certification Authority Web Enrollment. You have a running Active Directory um, certificate services. ADCS server and need to back up the certificate databases and private keys. How do you accomplish this? I would use the cert util command. You are preparing a Windows Server 2016 server image for deployment. You want to further customize your server by adding applications and device drivers and to test your computer in a Windows environment. What sysprep parameters would you select when customizing your server image? Mm -hmm. Enter system out of box. Enter system audit mode. Enter generalize. I'm going to go with option D. I'm going with option D. You must configure a set of three DNS IP addresses to be given to clients that receive IP configuration from your DHCP server. The DNS IP addresses will apply to all DHCP scopes created on the server. Where on your DHCP server do you configure this setting? I normally do it under scope options. You currently have a DHCP server issuing IPv4 addresses to clients. Which task should you perform first to set up your DHCP server to dynamically issue IPv6 addresses to clients on your network? Add an IPv6 scope, configure an IPv6 address for the interface on the DHCP server. Um, yes, I would say configure an IPv6 address because you've already got it installed, the DHCP yeah. Next. Your Hyper-V server has two physical disks installed. 
This one is a C drive that hosts the Windows system files and this too is a D drive that has no data. You need to connect the D drive to a newly created VM using a pass-through disk configuration. What is true about the D drive? The physical disk must be reformatted. The physical disk must be in a RAID 6 configuration. The physical disk must use iSCSI. The physical disk must be offline. Um, I'm going to use the physical disk must be reformatted. When installing the ADDS role, server role, which will not be installed as part of the required features and services for ADDS to run. DFS namespace, DFS replication, Active Directory lightweight directory services, file replication services. Um, uh, I'm going to go with the LDAP. You pre-staged a computer in Active Directory in a domain controller at company headquarters. After 30 minutes, that new computer object is still not available at the branch office domain controllers. What should you run from a command prompt to get a summary of the AD replication status in your domain from the perspective of all domain controllers? I'm going to go with this uh, rep admin um, show ripple with a star. When setting up a new Radius client, what piece of information verifies a secure and trusted connection with the Radius server? Shared secret, authentication methods, hash key, vendor name availability. I'm going to go with shared secret. You are planning to install a SAN that will use RSCSI storage. You want to provide automatic discovery, management and configuration of RSCSI devices. After running the get windows feature PowerShell command, which server feature should you install? I'm going to go with RSNS. You need to configure your DHCP server to deny certain client MAC addresses from receiving an IP address. Where do you configure the setting? If I'm not mistaken, it's also scope options. As you create a new share, you are unable to configure the default classification of data on the folder. Why would the new share wizard prevent this configuration? File resource manager must be installed. The file share groups must be configured first. The Windows Server license is not compatible with the feature. The distributed file system server role must also be installed. I'm going to go with this distributed file system server role must be installed. You've deployed a server core installation of Windows Server 2016, which is not a way to update the, the server. I'm going to go with configure the server to use a WSUS server with group policy. You built a container image on nano server. The container image has multiple layers including a custom application built for your company and your development team pushed the image to your Azure image registry. What happens if you attempt to pull that image to a new server with no previously downloaded base OS images. I'm going to go with all layers will be downloaded from your Azure registry. View results. Oh, great work. You earned the badge. So thank you for watching this video.
I hope that it was helpful and all the best with these skilled assessments through LinkedIn. Thank you. Goodbye.